sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. It means brain freeze, the one you get when you have cold food. But it also gave me a brain freeze trying to say that. So let's shorten it and call it SG. But if you're a physicist, SG might mean specific gravity. And other scientists might think of cyborgium, a chemical element. But if you are like me, it would actually mean, sounds good. <laughs> Natural language, it's complex and ambiguous, and the context, it matters a lot. I'm a non-native speaker, and sometimes I find it difficult to understand some words. It's confusing, annoying, and adds so much burden. And when we read scientific papers, sometimes the language is too technical. What about patients who are given unfamiliar health reports and asked to make life-altering decisions? The cost of misunderstanding can be high, and we need expert translators, but human experts are not always available to help. That's when my research comes in. I use artificial intelligence to get computers to help us understand complex and unfamiliar text but computers can't read text like we do. However, they can read patterns. They read these patterns by converting text into numbers and giving them a location in an imaginary multidimensional space. Like you see on this slide, it's a map of words as computers see them. We call it a vector space. I use language models trained on billions of words, and I write programs to create language models which create these vector spaces. The distance between words in a vector space is extremely important. Words which are together are similar, and words which are far apart are different. For an example, sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia lies far away from specific gravity or cyborgium. This helps the computer to learn and even differentiate between the possible meanings for SG. Using these, I've developed methods that can scan text and predict which words will confuse you and provide you with a real-time translator that can help you understand complex and unfamiliar text. Language is evolving rapidly, but with better research, we can help non-native speakers like me, second language learners, students who want to learn science, and even patients who want to know more about their conditions to better understand language, to avoid any misunderstandings and confusions, and of course, to avoid any brain freezes.